Hello so guys, today I'm going to show you how you can fix your installation or downloads that suddenly stop or won't install. So this works on the games and the apps too. Also guys, if you need more help, you can just go ahead and join the Airfix community for more help and that's your start. You can also just comment down below and please guys subscribe and like and thank you so much. So for example, let's just say you were downloading a new Call of Duty and the Call of Duty just suddenly stops. So what you need to do actually is you want to close off every game that you had like you were playing on. For example, let's just say you were playing Minecraft and you were installing Call of Duty and it just st suddenly stops installing. You want to close off Minecraft. It could happen that your network speeds go a bit lower. So that could be a reason too. And a second reason could be... A second reason could be actually that you uh, have a glitched thing. So what happens uh, sometimes, guys, is once you were like... The uh, downloading a game it sometimes just downloads a update and it installs the game at the same time so it's more like a glitch from the console itself and it's a bit difficult to um, explain actually but it's more like a glitch from the console itself so what you need to do is you want to go just go ahead and click on start of the game and you want to simply just delete it and install it back again it could be a glitch but if you have saved files guys what you want to do is you want to restart your console so what you want to do is you want to keep holding and try to restart your console from here you can also close off your console by going to the power button physically and you want to keep holding till you see no more lights coming out and then what you also can do is you can go ahead and plug all of your cables out of your Xbox One and go to your um, big power cord itself and also plug it out from there and you want to wait about one to two minutes or about three minutes just to be sure just wait about three minutes and plug it back everything back on and once you plug everything back on your cache will be cleared so just open up your xbox one and see for yourself if the installation works or not so it could be corrupted or it could be a bit glitched your downloads so now let's go to the next step so the next step could be that your internet connection is a bit too slow so go to settings go to general and go to network settings on here guys you want to go ahead and test your network and speed statistics it will sometimes take about like 30 seconds to test actually so let's skip a little bit forward so guys, like you see, my download speed is pretty much enough actually, I'm using Wi-Fi for right now, but if you see, for example, on download speed or upload speed, something that starts with a K instead of Mbps, it starts sometimes with a Kbps, so if you see something with Kbps, it means that your internet connection is bad and it could happen that that's actually the problem itself, so what you do is, you can go ahead and use a Ethernet cable or a LAN cable, I will link it in the description down below so you can check it that out. You just connect it with your router itself and your Xbox One and I will guarantee you guys you will get 4 times better internet connection than ever. You can also check out my other videos where I check that out. So the next step, let's go back. So if you don't want to use a ethernet cable, what you also can do is you can go to advanced settings and on here go to DNS settings and go to manual but this is more for the people that have luck and what do i mean with that so for example for some people they do work and so for some people they don't work on the dns settings so just copy what i'm doing right now and these ones for a lot of people actually they do work but for some people they just don't Okay, I actually did something wrong on here. And it all depends on the location where you live on. So it could happen 
like I said. And now you can just go ahead and click on start once you fill the primary and the secondary DNS in and test your internet connection and see for yourself if you get better internet connection or worse. If you get better, just stick with that. If you get worse, go ahead and go back to change uh, DNS settings. And I'm going to copy now right now for another DNS code. So just go ahead and enter this one. If it doesn't work, the 8.8.8. .8 .8. And actually, guys, DNS settings allow you to get a bit faster internet for the most of the times, but it could happen that it doesn't work out for you. And if these all these DNS codes don't uh, work out for you, what you need to do is you want to go back and do automatic. So here's the secondary DNS. Just you can also pause the video if you want to. And now let's go back. So. <clears throat> Let's go to the next step and now what you want to do is you want to go to system. On here guys you want to make sure that you have, um, I mean, storage that you can actually use. The reason why is if you have like 95% or only 90% used, what it means is that it could happen uh, that you have this error because of that your storage is full and you can't do it anymore. So what you can do is you can go ahead and connect a external hard drive. So once you connect a external hard drive, you will be able to get a lot more storage on your Xbox One and it's pretty actually pretty good. So you can go up to six terabytes of storage guys. Yes, you can actually go up to six terabytes of storage and you can download a lot of games and a lot of things actually on your Xbox One. And what you also can do is if you want to free up your storage, go to make more space. And on here, like you see, left over add-ons. So we can go ahead and delete some leftover add-ons. And what are these? These could be update files or uh, save data, DLC packs or teams of a game that you already deleted. For example, let's just say you are already deleted Fortnite and it only has like save data or update files left over of the game. You can also just go ahead and go to here and delete them. On my, it doesn't really show up because I already deleted them all. So guys, another way how you can actually get more space is going to here, shrinkable games. So what you do on here guys is you just shrink a game. For example, let's just say you have Call of Duty and it's taking about like 100 gigs on your Xbox One. So if you will be able to shrink that, it will go down to like, let's just say 50 gigs and it will be like 350 gigs as of space. And it's pretty uh, useful actually guys, you can shrinkable games every game i don't really think every game but some games you can actually do it and it's pretty useful so we can just do that if you want to and now let's go to the next step and also guys i will leave all of those in the description down below the external hard drive the usb flash drives and also the ethernet cable or the line cable so you can check that out so now guys i'm gonna show you two other ways how you can actually go ahead and clear your cache so the first thing what you can do is you will want to go to general and go to network settings on here guys you want to go to advanced settings and by just clearing your cache it will sometimes fix the installation problem so it could be like a, a network uh, error too so let, go to alternate mac address and on here you want to click on clear and you want to restart your console it just must restart your console actually and i can't do it right now because i'm recording a video and it will just stop the recording so let's go back now let's go to the second option what we also can do so guys you want to go to device and streaming and on here you want to go ahead and click on blue ray for some people actually it won't show up but i'm gonna show you a fix for that later on here, once you click on that, you want to click on persistent storage and on persistent storage. And by the way, guys, it won't like delete your data by just 
clearing, clearing your cache, it won't delete data or anything like that. So you want to clear your persistent storage and like it says, it will sometimes get rid of your errors and things like that. So now let's go to the methods for the people that don't actually have a Blu-ray. For the people that don't have a Blu-ray, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and close off your console by holding down the power button till you see no more lights coming out. And once you do that guys, you want to go ahead and go to the back of your console. You want to make sure that you plug everything out, the power cord, the HDMI or whatever you have actually. And once you do that, go to your big power cord, also plug that out from there and wait about like 3 minutes. And after waiting about 3 minutes, you want to plug everything back on and just restart your console. You should see a green screen appearing and that's how you know that you cleared your cache. So that's a way how you can do it without using Blu-ray. For the You can also do it if you have a Blu-ray. You can just go ahead and do the same thing and that's how you do it guys. Now let's go to the next method. So this last method is actually the last thing or the option that you will be doing. Guys, remember that. So don't do this option before doing all the other options on your Xbox One because this will actually delete your game files or your games itself. And I suggest you guys to do reset and keep my games and app apps and like i said guys you will lose your saved data you will lose your games uh i mean not your games actually but your saved data itself but if you have like let's just say multiplayer saved data let's just say your rank on call of duty won't like go away so don't worry about that but if you for example played on story mode or your minecraft servers it will go away so if you have an external hard drive you can just go ahead and save your files on there but if you don't have that, I will just say you will lose all of your data if you don't transfer it to your USB flash drive or your external hard drive. So just remember that guys. And by doing this, it will fix your problem. And if this doesn't fix your problem, go ahead and try out resets and remove everything. And this will be like a brand new console. So this was the video guys. And how do you come here? So you just want to go to settings, go to system. And then you want to go to console info and you will be able to reset your console from here. Just click on reset console and you will get this option right over here. So this is how you do it actually guys. And I just want to say if you still have problems you can just go ahead and go to my error fix community over here and you can ask some questions and things like that so thanks for watching guys please like subscribe and comment down below and take care of yourself guys goodbye